Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Hardcore Minecraft Take 3. Well, last we left the Avatar, I was about to go and make a little dock for my boat, and then I noticed these pillagers over here. I may have made an enemy out of them by killing one of their number, but they can't reach me very easily because of the fact that they are in the water. Let us, uh, see if they are still heading this way. I do in fact think they are heading this way. Either that, or they have completely forgotten about their, uh, compatriot, and are content to just bob about there. Well, let's get their attention, shall we? Aha! Now they're going to come and get me! Very slowly, they are going to float over. Those crossbows are quite dangerous, so I'm going to want to make sure that I keep this tree between me and them. And I want to raise the shield whenever I think they're going to attack. They don't have too much health. The tree should help me in, uh, defending myself. Whoever thought trees would be so effective? One of them is nearly here. Hello? You're going to wait until you're actually out of the water before you, uh... Oh, no, you've readied your bow. Aha! 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 You are gone. Now I want to very quickly move away. Ooh! Ooh! You managed to get me while I was backing up. And that's no good, but you're getting closer. I want one of you to drop a crossbow. That would be nice. Nearly there. The other ones are quite a ways away. Aha! And... Aha! You hurt yourself! You fool! And now you're gone. Now there are two more, and I'm going to make my way around to where they are. I want to be thorough in getting rid of them. Just take a leisurely stroll about. I also want that banner. Now, you could make that banner yourself by using, uh, various dyes. But that banner is, uh, one that, uh, looks pretty neat if you're trying to intimidate pillagers. Going, hey, I've killed many of your number. You should be wary when it comes to facing me. You're going to slowly make your way over. And I mean slowly. Unless you've already given up on, uh, trying to get rid of me. In which case... Have at thee. Wow, it really seems like you're, uh, you're certainly not going to get anywhere near me. Now, there is a debuff that you get from, uh, defeating the, uh, pillager with the banner. It lasts for a very long time, but you can mitigate it by drinking a bucket of milk. And my, do they sound angry. They sound very angry. They also move very quickly when they're on the land. Case in point. Aha! Aha! Voluntary Exile. That is the uh, advancement for getting the debuff. Let's make our way over to you. You're going to do that. There we go. One hit. Two. And three. And four. You are gone. Fortunately, there are no uh, villages about that I need to worry about this debuff, but I do want to get rid of it. It'll just linger there in the, uh, top right corner of the screen, forever. So, let's, uh, quickly swim back over. This isn't that quick, uh, it might actually be, uh, no, it is quicker than, uh, doing that, never mind. Shouldn't have stopped swimming. Silly me. We'll pop back indoors, like so. And I think I have a, uh, bucket here? We also have some potatoes we need to harvest. No bucket here. We definitely have a bucket, though. So let's go grab it. It's down here in one of these. It's not there. It's here. And currently it's full of water. Well, we'll get rid of that water. We can't drink the water, sadly. Just put it down there. We can, however, drink milk. And... Give me milk. Goodbye, debuff. Never again will you appear, unless we kill some more pillagers. There probably won't be any pillagers for a while, though. Uh, 
that, that, do that, and that. Brilliant. I think we've illuminated the uh, area that's enclosed by the walls pretty well now. I'm not going to say that it's perfectly illuminated, but it's probably sufficient that uh, enemies are very unlikely to spawn now. Very unlikely indeed. Everything is sorted there. I want the shears. Now, actually, I... No, no, I do need the shears. I was about to say I don't need them, but I do. I only have five bits of red wool and not six. And now I have a lot more than five. I now have eight. Perfect. We're going to make a uh, duplicate of that banner. The banner is uh, right here, the uh, template one. Put these back here. That there, that there, that there. That there. Don't know why that uh, one was separate. And now we'll get that duplicate. We actually want a few of them. We want one for the uh, outside of the keep as well. We want a single stick. We actually want two sticks. Put that there. Actually, no, we want to keep that, don't we? Because we were going to make the uh, that dock. That was originally my intention. It didn't end up happening, but that was my intention. Now we have two of these. And this one will go outside. Or it could go here. I'll actually put it there. Now we'll work on the dock. Eventually we got around to it, folks. One, two, three. Do I want it four wide? Yeah, we'll make it four wide. Why not? We'll do that. Like this. And one more like that. And if we use the uh, fences that we have over here... Good thing I kept them out here. We can fence it off like so. And we can also make sure that it is uh, well illuminated by using... Nope, not like that. By using our fences there. We'll jump up to here so that we can do that and that. And we still have some lanterns. We have plenty of lanterns. One there. And if I put the... Uh, actually, I should put the dirt there instead. The dirt is easier to get rid of. And one more. If I can... Uh, there we go. Perfect. And there we go with that. We can now move the boat. And get rid of this. Come along, boat. We now have a place for you to be. Right here. Slot in just there. Perfect. I quite like how uh, this has built up into a little fortified place. My own place to call home, safe from monsters. And that tree has finally grown want to get rid of uh, that bit there, but otherwise, it all looks good to me. We could put a uh, another lantern down somewhere. Put one over there. Actually, we've got one over there. Over here, there. Plenty over here. The torches are good for there. I think this is actually pretty well illuminated. Not perfectly, as I said before, but pretty well illuminated. And now I'm going to uh, do the thing that I said I would uh, do for Emeralda, which is that I'm going to need some uh, more wheat. Nine in total. I'm going to make a bale of hay. Put this in here. How much wheat do I have? I have, uh, I have just enough. Perfect. We should also, uh, get those there. Could always do with more paper. Could always do with more of everything, really. This is called an ominous banner, by the way. You can uh, see the list there of all the things that have been added to make it look like how it looks. And there is a hay bale. Hay bales can be used to fully heal a horse. I do need to actually get another horse. Okay, this can go there. 
now you have hay. Now, what time of day is it? It is way too late for me to go out and get another horse. But I can get ready for the eventuality of getting another horse. Yes, I could. What do we want to put away here? Just that and that, and we really don't have many torches right now, but we do have enough. We want to put that back. And we also want to see if there is a... Yep, there is some more red wool for me to, ha to uh, get. Just one. But one is better than none. That goes there. And this goes in there too. And I'll put that banner away. After, of course, I rest. I think the uh, lead is in one of the boxes in the storage area. And then we'll go find that horse. We do need another one. Not so worried about walking past that uh, pressure plate anymore. It's uh, a lot safer than it was. This thing is loot. There are the leads. And we want to put this away, and these away, and the dirt. The dirt also gets to go away, and this stone step also gets to go away. And that goes there. We'll keep the book on hand as we go and find another horse. We could actually ride the horse to go and find a horse, but I don't think there are uh, horses that far away. I think they're pretty close by. Over there, if memory serves. It may do. Oh, hello. Don't need to worry so much about uh, enemies within the walls, but we do need to worry about them just beyond the walls. But they're easy enough to take care of. Now, I think it was over there. I think it was. And if there are any cows out here, they are a uh, potential source of extra leather. I think I saw one cow somewhere. Does look so much more secure now that there are walls, doesn't it? So much safer. Okay, there is the, uh... Aha! There's a horse. Just gonna get a lead, and... I think there's just one horse there? Yeah, it looks like there's just one. No, there are quite a few horses. What I actually should do is go back and get the saddle. I don't need the lead, after all, if I have the saddle. Silly me, and I have plenty of saddles, too. We can see if we can find a nice, fast horse. This is not the fast way of getting over this water. But the air is human, and the avatar is human. Okay, we are here. Back inside. Let's quickly run over to here. We can grab the, uh, actually you're not wearing a saddle right now, are you? No, you are not. I should get some. I do think we have a couple. Are they here? We have two! Quite handy indeed, that. So, we'll put one on you. And then we'll put one on another horse. One that is very fast. We want a very fast horse. So, there we go. Let's go to those other horses. Now if we had a uh, fishing rod that we put a carrot on, we could get a uh, steed that is a pig. The uh, fishing rod does slowly uh, degrade as time goes on, as you are riding about. That is the uh, downside of using a pig as a steed rather than a horse. But the option is there. You do still need a saddle, though. At least I think you need a saddle. We'll run over here and find out which of these horses is the best. Now, best is subjective, but I do tend to uh, want horses that can run really fast and jump really high. Health isn't as important. There are four, no, five horses here, so we shall start with you. You don't appear to be throwing me off right now, and I spoke too soon. Way too soon. Way too soon. Or should I say, nay too soon. Ah, <laughs> never mind. 
You're pretty fast. You jump pretty high too. You know what? You'll do. Aha! Now what we want to do is we actually want to not ride Emerelda or this horse when we uh, go out and explore. We want to keep this horse and uh, the uh, Emerelda back at home and we want to breed another horse that will be our steed because the uh, horse that we breed will be the average of Emerelda and this one and will therefore be uh, perfectly suited to uh, our needs and we can always get another one just in case something terrible happens. I highly doubt something terrible will happen but it might. Now I think we need a uh, golden carrot to uh, get a horse into breeding mode, and I think golden carrots are made using uh, carrots and gold nuggets. Now let's uh, pop into here when the door eventually opens for us. There we go, golden carrots. Two of them. This will certainly be worth it. Certainly be worth it. Now the uh, horse that is bred is not tame, and you will have to uh, tame the horse when it becomes an adult. Now you should care about these. Yep, there we go, and there we go. And there's the little horse. Hello, how are you? Are you well? Excellent. I feel like putting a uh, chest over here just to keep armor and various things like saddles, and uh, actually that's not a bad idea. Let's get a uh, storage chest there and see about making that so. Do I have one about? I do actually have one about. Uh, what about the armor? Magic stuff, food stuff, weapons and armor, one iron horse armor. And we have all of these fishing rods. Always nice to have them. Also, I think I have... Yep, I have these magic uh, bits of equipment. Not in the chest for magic things. That is something that has now been remedied. Now, I want to put the chest here. Or I could put it there. It's actually probably a better idea. Let's put it there. Put that there, that there, and we'll just take this armor off Emerelda here. No need to wear that armor when you're in there. We'll put that there. Wonderful. And we might as well put this lead here as well. And now that I've done that, there's a little more farming to do. I keep saying that uh, farming will just keep you busy all the time, and it really does. Especially if you also do some fishing during the day. You can fish during the day, and farm when it gets quite late, and before you know it, day after day after day has disappeared in blissful peace. But I don't mind uh, things being peaceful in Minecraft. Things can get quite hectic for many, many reasons. We have more cows, and that means more leather. Let's see if we can get a little bit more, shall we? We'll get these first. How much wheat do we have? Not enough is the answer. Not enough. Hmm. We do have that, though. That's now there. We'll get that. Why not? And plant that there that there and see if we can get some more. No. No more for us there. Hmm. We could put the saplings in there. That did the trick. Giving us another one of these, which will allow us to uh, make this grow so that we can get another bit of wheat. Which puts it up now to seven. We are pretty close, but not close enough, sadly. We will only be able to get uh, a few extra. Unless I have one hidden away in the chest downstairs. Then again, I do have lots and lots of bones down there. Oh, actually, I do have uh, 
one hidden away here. Perfect! And while I'm thinking about it, put some of those there to uh, keep them safe, just in case. Let's get some more! And also while I'm thinking about it, let's get some more of this too. Where did I put the... I put the shears here. It took me a long time to realize that you can enchant shears. You can give them uh, unbreaking, mending, and efficiency. The efficiency one surprised me until uh, someone told me that you can use them to uh, get uh, the uh, vines and stuff from trees. Let's just hand all these out. Eventually we'll run out of uh, cows to hand them out to. That chicken is still there. Now, let's get some more leather. Ooh, you're a little too close to that cow. There we go. And we got some leather there, which is perfect. We got some more leather. So that's two. Two more. That's three. One more. Oop, accidentally hit uh, the little cow there. Sorry about that. And one more. Just need a cow to go. Aha! You. Wow, that's a lot of leather. We got seven leather there. And if we add that to all of the uh, books we already have, which is one, that's going to be another two bookshelves. We could also make some uh, armor for the horses, but we don't need to. Do you have more? You do have more wool. That means we can make the uh, other banner that I wanted to make as well. Lots of little things achieved, and I'm always happy for that. Put that away. Make this. Make that. This here, that there, that there, this back, those there. We can make another watermelon. I believe it's only four watermelons per uh, emerald when you trade. Now, we're going to have to very quickly pop out and put this uh, outside. There will be enemies out and about. There we go. None that close by, though. Brilliant. And everything does seem quite illuminated. Very illuminated, in fact. I think there are only a few places. This part is pretty dark. That part is pretty dark. If I were to move something, put this more here. There we go. That bit is still pretty dark, isn't it? I know. I'll put this back. And I'll put a lantern there. I'll just put lanterns sort of scattered all over the place. And then, there'll be no things that spawn anywhere. Oh, who am I kidding? There will inevitably be some that will spawn somewhere. Also, I should remember that I put this here. Remember when I said that I'd uh, put this here so that I didn't have to keep going over there? I've been doing uh, the trip over to uh, the one that's further away many times ever since putting that there. Silly, silly me. Now, where did I put those lanterns? I put the lanterns here. Going to need a few more. Not too many, just three. Because oh, we want to put a lantern here. And we also want to put a lantern here. And we definitely want to put a lantern here. Brilliant. It's all nice and illuminated, no matter what time of day it is. Which means I could safely... Uh, Go about during the night and do some farming and fishing. It wouldn't be a hundred percent safe, but it's certainly a lot safer than it was before. And so, folks, when we come back, I think this is pretty much done. And as for what else we can do, there's plenty that we can do. There's this map that we need to fill in. There are also other maps that we can make. There's the uh, village that we found that we could uh, go and try and get some trades going in. And I actually feel like making some more torches because we have, after all, uh, used a lot. That will suffice for now, but we'll definitely have to make more. But that'll be for next time. 
And I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. Rest well, Avatar. And know that Britannia burns. Oh, wait. It doesn't seem to be burning. But wait, you're not actually in Britannia, are you? So for all you know, Britannia could still be burning! <laughs> well, that zombie certainly is burning, but that zombie isn't Britannia. Unless the zombie is called Britannia. I'm thinking way too hard about this, aren't I, Avatar? Yes, yes you are, Guardian. Yes you are. Later.